since. So we started with advertising the Quran in our local New Sunday newspapers, one called the Sunday Tribune. We advertise Quranic verses under the heading, The Quran Speaks, a message from the Quran, and giving our name and address that further inquiries can be made and for, for free literature they can write. And then the same thing we started doing for the African people in the Zulu language newspaper called Ilanga Lasi Natal, mean the son of Natal in which we had Ikuran Yakuluma, which means what the Quran says. And again, the same technique, verses from the Quran translated into Zulu and offering people free information and, and uh, literature. Then we have also had other ideas, like advertising Islam in a most unobtrusive manner. We don't offend people like you'll see on buildings here. These signs. Promoting the reading of Kalam Allah, the word of God, are absolutely unique in the Muslim world. Read in the Quran and the Islam and the Quran and the Quran in this way, قد يصدم الكثيرين منا نحن المسلمين لأننا لم نألف مثل هذا الأسلوب من قبل ولكن هذه الظاهرة هي واقع سجلته عدسات التلفزيون في شوارع مدينة ذيربا بجنوب أفريقيا وقد تكون له دواعيه ومبرراته المحلية في جنوب أفريقيا On buildings you'll find the sign saying, read Al-Quran, the last testament. Read Al-Quran, the last testament. During the day, the sign is there, and at night, it flashes, you know, the color. So in other words, attracting people's attention. Read Al-Quran, the last testament. Now, most especially in the South African context, it is mildly provocative. Because this is, as I said, an ocean of Christianity. And in this ocean of Christianity, they know the Old Testament and they know the New Testament. So when you are speaking about the Last Testament, it becomes as a shock. So what do you mean Last Testament? So, inquisitiveness, which is to us attracting them, wanting to know, we can we get the Quran? What is this Quran? So we are achieving this by advertising these on top of buildings. We have a dozen different types of literature, all on comparative basis. And we are publishing these literature now 100,000 at a time. We have a book called What the Bible Says About Muhammad. That book, we have done more than 300,000. Then we have another book, Is the Bible God's Word? We have done more than 260,000. And all, crucifixion or crucifixion, Christ and Islam, how Islam solves the racial problem, the Muslim at prayer, and on and on, we are printing these booklets 100,000 at a time for absolutely free distribution. We don't charge anybody. Only the Quran we have to sell. If people buy, they can buy. If they can't afford, they must write and tell us why we should we give them for nothing and we do give, provide for them. للمركز الدولي للدعوة الإسلامية وهي تقوم بطباعة كل ما يتعلق بالنشرات والكتيبات التي تخص المركز بالإضافة إلى المطبوعات والدفاتر والنماذج التي يحتاجها المركز في نشاطه اليومي وتقدم هذه المطبعة خدماتها لمن يرغب من الزبائن لتشكل بذلك دخلا ماليا للمركز الدولي للدعوة الإسلامية we have so far handled this office of mine some 85,000 Holy Quran translations, Arabic text, translation and commentary, which we have been selling and what returns we get gets plowed back into propagation and we have also been giving out these Qurans, we have been offering to free, free, free to every school, college, university and public library, absolutely free of charge. To every mosque and madrasa, absolutely free of charge. And we have handled so far about 85,000. We have just placed an order now for another 100,000 for helping our brethren all over the world. For example, I'm sending 10,000 Qur'ans to our Afro-American brethren in America. I want to help the people in Sri Lanka and in India, Pakistan, in the UK. 
we want to do this that the Quran is made available freely available at a very low price subsidized cost or even free and a hundred thousand are now inshallah under print we are reproducing videotapes of our lectures mostly on comparative basis like this particular one it says muhammad sallallahu sallam in the bible in resp response to swagat and we have today now this is tape number 35 but we have 40 different videotapes on islam this is a video production department of the islamic propagation center international besides me stand the video production rack housing more than 20 video machines of different makes it is with the aid of these mechanical machines that we are able to to come to able to produce over 200 copies of videos a week averaging between 800 to 1000 copies depending upon the duration of the lecture of Mr. Didat talks and debates. At times, the duration of the lectures fall between one hour, two hours, and three hours. And depending on the duration of these lectures, the tapes vary between 800 to 1,000 cassettes a month. Besides producing cassettes of Mr. Didat, as you can see, tapes of other famous Muslim personalities are also made there. At the moment, as you can view on our monitors, is Yusuf Islam, a prominent scholar from the Western world where finally accepted Islam after realizing the potential of Islam and how it has made his life simple. Besides titles of use of Islam, we have other copies for other people who have accepted Islam as well.